the story of the Bell Witch is probably one of the most famous cases of the paranormal, about a family who undergoes some of the most terrifying events of their lives. I'll try to give you a quick introduction. John Bell and his family settled near the Red River in Robertson County, Tennessee in the early 1800s. They lived quite well until around 1817 when John notices a strange animal on the property. He claimed that it had the body of a dog and the head of a rabbit. He then shoots at it and the creature allegedly vanishes. Soon after, the family started experiencing strange sounds like knocking, gnawing, and the sounds of chains. The children are reported to have undergone physical abuse by the invisible force, having been hit, scratched, and their sheets pulled out from under them. Betsy Bell is reported to have received the brunt of these attacks, almost seeming to be the main focus. During this time, John's health steadily declines as he undergoes bizarre health issues such as swelling of the face and tongue and the feeling of having a stick stuck sideways in his mouth. These bizarre events continue to unfold and the entity is reported to have started verbally communicating with the family as well as many visitors. Many people who have visited the farm had their own experiences with the so-called witch ghost, either in the form of strange creatures or other bizarre phenomena. Andrew Jackson, before he was president, is said to have visited the farm after hearing the story and allegedly had some strange things happen to he and his crew. As time went on, John Bell's health steadily decreased and he was bedridden. And in December of 1820, he was found dead, allegedly with a bottle of strange black liquid by his bed. Some people believe that John was poisoned by the entity. Of course, there's really no way of proving that. And many people speculate on what the entity truly was. Some have said Native American spirits. Others have said the spirit of Kate Batts, who allegedly had a falling out with John. I'm not sure that anyone really knows, or what was the intentions of this spirit. All that I know for sure is that this family had something unexplainable that happened to them that has been written about by John's children as well as many others, although there is no way of proving any of it. I don't believe everything that I have heard about the story, but I don't believe that the family would make it up either. So we set out on our journey to Adams, Tennessee. We're going to visit the Bellwood Cemetery where some of the descendants are buried. We're going to investigate that cemetery briefly during the day. And then we're going to get a tour of the cave, the actual Bell Witch Cave on property in the evening. Although we are not allowed to film video at all, period, on the property, we are allowed to take pictures. So hopefully we can capture some great evidence to bring back with us.
well-known historic place. We're right here at the Bill Wood Cemetery where a lot of the Bell family were buried. We're right here, we're about to go read the monument right here, this big monument where it talks about John Bell. You guessed it, we're out here searching for the Bell Witch or whatever they call the Bell Witch. We're out here in Adams, Tennessee. We're gonna go check out and have a tour of the Bell uh, property later on. But right now we're gonna walk over here. Come on, Dad, follow me. We're gonna go in here and check out this monument. And a lot of the Bell family are buried right here. John, this one right here, this, this one. John, John Bell and his wife, it's that one. Their graves are 267 rods north and 18 degrees east. Uh, I think it's like 16 feet, and this I think it equals like 4,000 something feet. About three quarters of a mile. Yeah. I'll find it. Yeah, in the woods, that's for sure. Or is it John Thomas Bell and Laura Virginia, Virginia Henry? No, it's this one. Why is it doing that? <laughs> he said this. I'm getting a point three right now. What'd you say? I'm getting a point three. And it was lighting up blue. It was lighting up blue right here. I was walking, uh -huh. and I stopped, and it started lighting up blue. I went and touched the antenna, nothing but. The ground's real soft in spots. It's staying at point three. That's weird. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, uh, whatever it was. Let's try walking again. Weird, cause I was walking to y'all with it, and it just lit up blue. Did y'all not see it? No, I heard it. Still staying at point three, ain't it? Yeah. That could be just a normal thing around here. Yeah. That's why I'm gonna debunk it as. So I turn it off, turn it back on, see if it changes. Yeah. Again, please. Exactly out of my hand. Is this a great box? Yeah. yeah. You know how to cut it on? Is the speaker on? I don't know if speaker's on or not. Alright, it's still green now. Look at out here. Touch it again. Hey, hey, ma'am, can you come touch this to come and tell me that it's you? Please, somebody said no. What is your name? Red. What the heck? It went all the way to red. That is crazy. Touch man. again. I said I did. We'll do it again right here. We'll just watch him. Say it for me one, one more time, please. Thank you. Do you know the name Bell Witch? Maybe or yeah. I think you said yeah. What was the Bell Witch? Whoa, that was a weird light voice. Ooh, that's strong. Dude, we're getting some good voices right here, Dave. The mail me are going nuts. Where's John Bell at? 
over where? That wind is really blowing hard now. Sorry, everyone. It just, dude, that was weird, dude. Michael. Right here. That thing just cut off by itself and came back on. And then your thing is still going off. That, that's the first time that's ever done that. And that thing went back to the red. Some paranormal there. That thing went back to the red right at the same time that shut Man, off by itself. What caused that to happen? Whoa! It said I did? Is that what it said? I did or something? Did you make this device shut off? That was crazy. Whoa, what did that say? Went away. Or something? Who said that? Me? Who made who made it shut off? Tell me your name. Who made it shut off? It's going there and I'm following it. I got through this one, we got stopped. We're well, leaving this to this one, you think? Whoa! Yep. As soon as I said that, it answered. What the Flip. Holy snap, man. What are you doing, bro? Not much. Hey. I'm ducking. Dude, it went off again, oh, yeah, dude. Again, dude. I got it. Cut it off. Dude. Cut it on. I dude, I'm not doing that. that. Dude, I've had that thing for a long time. That's the first time that's ever done that, dude. Hey, Dad, I got it on film. Dude. Whoa! Dad, what is it just said something. Michael's millimeters going the, going off like crazy, yo. Watch. He just lit up every color. There it goes again. There it goes. Went back to red again, dude. Who's messing with us? Michael, turn it off real quick. I want to do something. Don't let me. I want to fuck with this antenna. That's just me at this moment. I'll straighten up the antenna. That's crazy. That's never done that to me, dude, ever. It's done it twice. twice. But thank God. His millimeter is going crazy right now. The rain's trying to get harder on me. I'm hey, is that a coincidence or not, guys? Y'all, it's trying to rain harder on me again. Michael, Let's pause again for about 10 minutes. Let's take a 10 minute break. Everyone, everyone shut off everything. Whoa, it just said something when you they said that. cut off again. Dude, it just shut off again, dude. Yeah. Guys, I gotta get in the car now. Dun, dun, dun. Bill Wood Cemetery. You wanna do this stuff together? Dad's got the spirit <coughs> box. We're about to ask some of the Bell family here if they wanna speak with us. Hey, let's get the picture in front of this monument. You think so? Yeah. Either that or in front of the gate here would be cool. Yeah, either way. Well, I'm going to leave the tripod right here. Mike is going to keep walking out with one more building. Do you remember us from earlier? Hello? Yeah? Who are you? You got a 1.1. 1 .1. Oh I heard something come through right then. Hello. What's your name? Oh. What? 
Harry or Harry or something? Are you part of the Bale family? Yeah. He's buried right here. <laughs> Who? I am. What's your name? Who am I talking to? Me. Like Did it me. say Lee? Did it like say me. Lee? Yep. Hey Lee, I'm Toby. <laughs> it didn't say me or Lee. We come in peace. Did it say Lee again? Yeah, I'm right here, right side. Lee Covington, are you here? Is that you? Here. Did it say here? It sounded like it said here. Right, I got right in here. Who am I talking to? Who are we speaking with? <laughs> we come as friends. We mean you no harm. Who are you? Make sure that's not covering that yet. Mike? Did you say Mike? A high one. It sounded like you said Mike. If there's any spirits here, I want you to follow me over here to this. Follow me over here, spirits. I'd like to ask you some questions. This guy T point four is following me. Hand, hand Mike there, camera, so we can start filming that. One point four. Can you tell us the story of the Bell Witch? It's here. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. It said it's here. What is here? What is the Bell Witch? That was a weird voice, dude. Sounds like a girl. Who is this talking to me? <clears throat> I heard another little kid. Tell me where John Bell's grave is. Is it... What? Behind you. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. It straight up said behind you, dude. Is it this direction? Is it that way? Tell me, is it is it that way? Yeah, north, 170 rods north. It is. See? Can that be John Tell Bell? me, why is John and his wife buried away from this? Why is he buried out there? Hello? Are you still here? Shh. What? Let me cut this off. Whoa! All kinds of behind you. I heard a sound come from over there, deep down over there. That's why I said hold on because I heard a weird sound come from John over Bell's there. Is is down there dude. I heard some weird sounds come from over there. Come on, let's go check it out. Let's go. Let's go see what's going on. Yeah, I realize I can't go there. 
Cameraman gotta set the camera down. You hold it for a minute. If 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 the band is covering that, it's gonna go black. Okay. All right. Let's go find out what's going on over here. Let me cut this off for a minute. No, they just said no. They said no, dude. I know. We can only go to the corner, but if we have to, we'll go out over there. I swear, and go I heard around. a weird sound over there, dude. I swear. That's why I said hold on. Well, let's. And I find it pretty convenient that it said behind you after that. I swear to God, dude. I'm going over there. We're going to find out what that was. I thought I heard it again, I swear. Y'all make sure that we... Did you... Whoa. Is it? Let's go over there anyways. No, that didn't sound like a chicken. Whoa, it said please help. Michael. Michael. It just said Michael, dude. Clear as day. What's Michael, me or him? Please help, Michael. Hey, Michael. Michael. Come on. And why did you say Michael earlier? Who you? Who'd you want? <laughs> you? Did it say you? Yeah. Why do you want me? I didn't know your name. All right, look. I was just trying to see if we can get through there, but we can't. Hey. Hello there, what's up? What's going on? We've heard many stories about this area and this property and this whole land here. We've heard a lot of stuff about this. We will just come to see if it's all true. Mike, ain't recordings on the mail meter yet? Can you make a, a loud sound right now? Hello, who is this? Can you talk to me? He never did tell me why John Bell is buried that way. Why is he buried so far out in the woods? Huh? Dude, film that, Dan. Film that, film that, film that. And it's stand. What the heck? There's a kid right there. We've come to find you. Whoa. What? It said what? Hardcore barbed wire there, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. it is. You got 
What is that, cotton or full of beans? Not sure. Tell me where John Bell's grave is. Is it out there in the woods? Yep. Why, why is it out there? Probably where the witch killed him, who knows. Is it because you felt like you had some type of attachment and you didn't want to bring that around your other family? That's probably why. That's truly probably is why. Like, that's the only thing that I can think of. One thing seems logical. Hello? Y'all hear that noise back there over there? Let me cut it off, huh? What is that? Some kind of music. That's a train. Yeah, that's a train. Chickens out there. I guess there's a train. Or that too, whatever. Do you think we What? Can you come touch this device in my hand? What? What the heck? Dude! Come do it for me. Come touch it. It's a whole sentence, guys. And I felt it in my hand. What? It, dude, it just said, I am the devil. In a woman's voice. Are you the witch? Come touch this device to be the witch of Bell. He said, he said, all right, watch it. Because I can feel it when it when it talks. I can... Careful. I'm watching. <laughs> Still ain't getting it. <laughs> touch this device. Make this light up for me. Can you do that? That train is loud. It's just right there. You like the sound of that train? Huh? Yeah, that was a, a whole sentence we got right there. You got another voice? Hey. All right. Right here, there's antenna. This thing. Come on. Alright. Dude, y'all film that cool looking rainbow spot back there. Jamie, you know how to zoom in? spot over there you see it everybody hello who is this hello did you hear that it just answered me dude who there. are you sir who are you dude I swear to God, it sounded like that thing just said, it's the Bell Witch coming. I swear to it, it was like all jumbled up though.
Hello? It's me. Who are you? Who just said it's me? It either, it either said the devil again or it said a bell or a bell or something. If you hear a bell, come touch this antenna in my hand. That was a weird voice. It said, hi. All right, so let's show the people what we're putting up there. All right, so the experiment is we're going to take this doll. We bought it at the Bell Witch uh, gift shop, and we're hoping, being that it was on the Bell Witch Cave property, that it'll have some attachment to these graves out here. Let's let's uh, mess around and find out. And I'm going to put the mill mirror right beside it. All right, well, let's wait on Michael because he's got the spirit box. Dad, you got enough battery in that camera to record this in case it yeah. works? Yeah. All right, cool Are you deal. Sure want to do this? Yeah. You think it'd be appropriate to do this? I think so. It's it's not that we're bringing a like a, like a representation <laughs> of the witch. It's just the fact of it come off the property of the Bells. Maybe it'll have some attachment to the Bell family that's buried here. Right. We never know. Well, let's just see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this on. Go for it. I've been recording everything. What? Y'all didn't hear that scream? No. It's coming from back there. Where are you going to place the doll right at, here. Michael? There's something.
What is in the cave that people are so afraid of? We wrap up our investigation of the cemetery, and it is now getting later in the evening, so we are preparing to enter the cave for the first time. And I have to state that we are not allowed to film any video on the property at all. These are the pictures that we captured. If you watch the far left side of the screen near the bottom, there's an anomaly that appears right there that I captured several pictures of that seems to go straight across right in front of me before seeming to grow larger before disappearing. We haven't even stepped foot inside the cave yet and we're already capturing this type of stuff. I can only imagine how it would seem once we get inside. I have to admit, I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. My heart is racing and I don't know what to expect. I've heard many things about this place. As I first walk in, I have to admit, it is a strange feeling inside, like none other. It's much different than outside. I can't explain it.
capture these strange lines coming from the center of the floor right there. It's like a bluish colored line and, it's, and the next photo is gone. We got these weird things like this all over the property, inside the cave, walking out of the cave, but mostly near the cave. There's another one. I'm not 100% certain if this could be a glitch with the camera, but it's certainly strange. And now you can see a bluish color would form right there on the wall. And in the next photo, it's different. There's two of them. And in this photo, it changes again. And in the next photo, it almost seems to be gone now. this anomaly right here and the next photo is gone Watch closely right here, you can see another one of those lines form in the center of the floor right there. This is the area where they once had the Native American skeleton on display that was stolen out of here.
We now press deeper and deeper into the unknown, further and further into the cave, searching for whatever energy lies here.
These are full spectral pictures. If you look right here, you can see an orb that forms where the skeleton once was.
caught a series of orbs right here in this hallway. There's probably just dust that we kicked up. I took this picture right here that my friend says looks like something is standing in the hallway with a skeleton face. But I'm not sure. This could just be a glitch in the motion that I was using the camera because I was using it free handed. But everything seems to be rotating right here in the entrance. It does look strange. We now emerge from the cave after our first time of being in. And it definitely feels refreshing stepping out. There's sort of a claustrophobic feeling inside the cave. Once you get out, it seems to lift away. My brother started snapping pictures of me right here where I was walking out and I started goofing off a little bit. And as soon as I raised my arms in the air, some type of anomaly is faintly visible just above my head, right when I raise my arms. And we capture like three frames of it and it changes in each three frames and then it vanishes. Watch very closely right here as this anomaly appears above my head, right there, as soon as I raise my arms. It's very faintly visible right there, and then it's gonna change the next frame, right there, and then it's gone in the next. We are now led to an area in the woods that is as close as one can get to the original location of the farm and old cabin. And it's also as close as you can get to John and Bell's tomb that is somewhere out here in the woods. I started snapping these pictures. Yeah, most of these things you see are most likely insects that are flying around. But you're fixing to see one right here that comes from the right side right there. It seems to be really elongated and there's something right there that just appeared directly above it. It's an orangish translucent blob of something that is clearly not an insect. If you watch this cedar tree closely, something is fixing to come directly out of it. Right there. Some type of elongated anomaly. Now I'm fixing to play it again in sequence. Right there. What in the world could this be?
as I go frame by frame here, you can clearly see some type of orb-like anomaly that just came directly from this tree. It is now going towards the ground. Is it possible that this tree, this very old cedar, could possibly hold the events, the energy from the past? We are now shown another area that is believed to be a burial mound of Native Americans. And on this mound there is a series of trees. And in some of these trees are rocks or stones that have seen them grown up in the center of them. That's strange for one thing. But some things seem to manifest near these trees on this mound. This is a series of full spectrum pictures that was taken on the way to the mound. As we approach one of the trees, we discover a bizarre shaped rock in the center of it. And then something manifests, I believe, out of this rock in the form of mist right here that we could not explain. What is that? Right here in this moment, we captured one of the most bizarre pictures I have ever seen. I don't know what could cause this, but it's almost like all the light, whether the lantern, the light coming from everything is being sucked upwards. I cannot explain this. Do I believe the whole story of the Bell Witch haunting? No. But like I said before, I believe that the Bell family truly experienced bizarre events that left them traumatized. Something happened here on this rural farm that people will never forget about. I believe that this place is truly haunted. And in my opinion, I believe it's Native American spirits. I mean, come on, it's a burial ground. And we have captured our own proof of supernatural things here. So much so, it left me speechless. It took me days to get back to normal after leaving this place. 
My brother James was really sick the next day with a fever of 102. My friend Michael and I both experienced car trouble. And he also claims that something may have followed him home, as he had many bizarre things happen. He claims that he would see and hear a strange woman when he was alone, and the car horn go off by itself outside. I will never forget this place and the impact that it left on all of us. For this place is a hotbed of the supernatural. And somewhere in the darkest foreboding crevice, something definitely still resides.